How many of you have been sick before? Being sick is no fun at all. Tell me about a time when you were sick. Dealing with sickness can be scary and risky and tough. Sometimes it's just as hard to visit someone who is sick as it is to be sick. Have you ever had to visit someone who was sick? Today we're going to learn about how Jesus healed people and cast out demons. Jesus dared to care. And he didn't just wait for people to come to him. He went out to find people that needed healing. Let's read a verse about it. It's in Mark chapter 1 verse 38. He answered, let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. Mark chapter 1, verse 38. Where did Jesus want to go? And what was he going to do there? Why was Jesus going to neighboring towns to proclaim the message? Jesus had places to go, things to do, and a reason to do it. Now I'll read the Bible memory verse, and you fill in the blanks. He answered, Let us go on to the, so that I may, for that is what? Excellent work. We've got things to do as well, so let's start with an opening prayer and dive into today's lesson. Dear Jesus, you are a healer. Today we lift up people that need your healing. Be with all of these people and those we hold silently in our hearts. Our trust is in you. Amen. We're going to read the story in two parts today. The first section is Mark chapter 1, verses 29 through 34. Jesus and a handful of disciples go to Simon and Andrew's house in the city of Capernaum. While they are there, Jesus heals Simon's mother-in-law. And soon, every sick person in town was at their door, waiting to be healed. Let's read it together. As soon as they left the synagogue, they entered the house of Simon and Andrew, with James and John. Now Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they told him about her at once. He came up and took her by the hand and lifted her up. Then the fever left her, and she began to serve them. That evening at sunset they brought to him all who were sick or possessed with demons, and the whole city was gathered around the door. And he cured many who were sick with various diseases, and cast out many demons, and he would not permit the demons to speak, because they knew him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. What would it be like to be healed instantly? What do you think it was like for Jesus to have all these people wishing to be healed? Now, I'll read the second half of the story, verses 35 through 39. This time, Jesus is going off to pray before the sun comes up, when it's still dark outside. In the morning, while it was still very dark, he got up and went out to a deserted place, and there he prayed. And Simon and his companions hunted for him, when they found him, they said to him, Everyone is searching for you. He answered, Let us go on to the neighboring towns, so that I may proclaim the message there also, for that is what I came out to do. And he went throughout Galilee, proclaiming the message in their synagogues and casting out demons. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Why do you think Jesus went to pray so early in the morning? Why did Jesus go to other places rather than stay in one place? What does this teach us about Jesus? We're learning today about Jesus healing, physical sickness, but Jesus also heals our spiritual and emotional sickness. Sometimes it feels like we've got garbage in our own lives, hurt feelings or mean things that have happened to us. The good news is that Jesus cares for our entire beings, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Jesus knows us and dares to care for us. What was the saddest part of the story for you today? Now think about what Jesus did. How do Jesus' actions give you hope? Jesus kept going to people to heal them and care for them. In the same way, we get to go out into the world and show the world we dare to care like Jesus. Let's pray that God would prepare us to be daring and caring in this world. In everything we do, when I get to the end of the prayer, we'll all say together, to be like Jesus, to dare to care. Dear Jesus, you care for us inside and out. You love us no matter our worries and doubt. You heal us and fill us. And now we prepare to join with me. Be like Jesus, to dare to care. Amen. Have a great week.